the stuff. Move now. All right. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to put the fish to one side and we're over to Julia who's going to show us her beans and... Oh, it's a black bean salsa, dude. Oh. You know, normally you need to have your, a meat, your meat, well, your fish, mm -hmm. Protein. two sides. So this would be one of the sides. Yes. It's very easy. This, would be, the other, yeah, this would be the other side. Well, of course, Ooh. because Thank three you. sides is always the best. That's all you need. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. So anyways, this is very easy to make. There's two things that are hard about it. First is you really need to remember to make it a little early because it sits together and once again, we meld the flavors together. Sounds good. Not a model melding. thing, but it's a close to a model thing. So normally you make this four to six hours in advance and you can leave it out at room temperature. Now, we are here in the south and we will use just a can of black beans if you want. If you're a purist, you can use the um, dry pine and, and soak them overnight, soak them. pull out the floaters, cook them down, not too much. What's a floater? floater? You know what I don't want to know. It's, it's easy. <laughs> it's on, the dried be, on the dried beans, when you're soaking them, hmm. the bad ones will float to the top. See, no, I didn't know that. And you take out the floaters. Good thing. See, Normally, I learned something today. Normally, you know, the today. floaters would probably be something, maybe a bug gun in it or something, no. and ate the middle out. And you really don't know till it's, it's hollow like and miss the top. I so, anyways, see. since we are down here in the south, we probably all have a little, a little back stash of some stuff just in case there's a storm right. or something that comes through. So you might have some canned stuff, and this is a good way to use up that stuff because thank goodness we hadn't had any problems in the last few years. <laughs> Knock on wood. But here we are with the black beans. <laughs> Drain them good, okay? Because you really don't want all the extra stuff. She's draining right. them in my pocket. Now, now something, Julia covered the, the, uh, the yeah, label. So what are you doing over there? Oh, I did, but you know what? This is just from that big no, box but I'm store. Just, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just going to say, though, that it's really canned beans are canned beans. I mean, really, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Don't you don't have to now if you're kosher, that's different. You have to do the kosher thing, whatever. But well, this otherwise, quite kosher. Oh, can no, beans, you know? can beans are canned beans. So, anyways, drain black beans, one mm -hmm. can. This is for four people. You can actually make more if you want. Four the people? second hot, yeah, the for second four. hottest piece four people. part of this is saving the bacon from the Ooh. people who are walking by, thinking there's two left over pieces of bacon that you can eat. <laughs> You can't. And they do, do that, here. don't of they? Of course they did. So, hard bacon, crumbled up, or cut up, whatever. You want it drained and done. Mm-hmm. Like that. Look how she's holding her knife, Scott. I know, I know. Scott would have a fit. Oh, oh wait a oh, yeah. I know. Yo. Did I say I was a chef? No, I no, just said I is. was from the south. Give me that. Look. Go you ahead. Hold your knife like that. You don't put your finger down it. Well, well okay. So well, do it then. Let it do it. Come on, this here. is a first oh, show. It's all right. I mean, it is. Oh, this will be off camera. I mean, whatever. Okay, here. It's our first show, sort of. This is for I speed know. right now. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> okay, so right, in go. goes the bacon. Okay, in goes, goes the bacon. bacon. And then you would want some red bell, one red bell, one yellow red bell. These one yellow, one red. These are little ones, but you could use the big ones. I already have some chopped up. Mm -hmm. Good Put those girl. in there. Couple cloves of garlic. Got them chopped yes. up. Throw those in there. Beautiful. Juice of a lime. This is a baby one. It's called we already a key got, lime. It is a key lime, honey. I went southern too. Those, those are for further well, south. Well, it's a little south. further south than here, but that's okay <laughs> because what we're making is kind of southern stuff, right? Mm, indeed. It is. So Absolutely. we squeeze these in. Or one big one. Whatever you have. Little hot pepper. Great. I'm using a jalapeno. Now a lot of times you get the green ones in the in the grocery store. I like the red ones if you can grow them. Leave them to their red because they're a little sweeter. Hot. Are you gonna take the seeds out? I did take the seeds out when I put it. See that I just left them. Well, my hands are hot. Just thought I'd ask. See what just you don't did. let me kiss you, baby. Because now I got hands that are hot. Hot hands. You don't want Which is okay. okay. <laughs> little cilantro. <laughs> now what, Julia? found, which is also works, is called Coulantro. Coulantro? Or yeah. Chinese it's parsley. Never send Julia it's Child supposed to last to longer. the grocery store when you're looking for something specific. Julia has a thing. So anyways, you would want to chop get. off your... From Cuba, and it also depends on what the store actually has. Well, that's true. In season, yeah, you, you may not find the stuff. Yes. Well, I mean, sometimes you just don't know where to look. So but chop off a couple of tablespoons, you know. A couple <laughs> tablespoons of that. Little West Indian hot sauce, which is not as quite as hot as like Tabasco. You want to want about two tablespoons mm -hmm. of this. This I made myself. 
Oh. I'm just going to put some, it's got red bell and All right. smoked jalapenos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting just enough to make it, you can heat it up as Sounds much as beautiful. you want or as little as you Sounds want. Sounds gorgeous. That's up to you. Oh, smell a smoky flavor. But, yeah, well, that's because mm. we smoked those jalapenos. Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a virgin olive oil. Really virgin olive oil. It's a virgin virgin olive oil. It's virgin olive oil. You take out a cherry and throw it away. That's it. Little salt, little pepper. Perfect. Perfect. Mix it up. Leave it at room temperature for about four to six hours. This is four fabulous. Four to six hours? Four, not four to six. Oh, four to six. Four to From six. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Leave Something it. It's like great that. as on its own or as a, as a uh, topping, which we're going to have maybe. Which, right on or the uh, yes. grilled fish, a lobster. You love yeah. it. It's easy. Just what, keep your eyes on the bacon. Easy peasy. That's right. <laughs> Keep your hands off the bacon all you out there watching. Now what I've done quickly very over here is uh, I made a little bit of a salt or a slaw for your, for your fish tacos. Simply what it is is a little bit of cabbage. Really? When you cut your cabbage you're going to cut it just a little thin like that. Slice it on down. Give it an extra little rough chop. Yes. Toss, Toss it, it in. in there. Again with the cilantro. In this case it is a culantro. It's and supposed to last longer in the fridge, is what it says. It's so from you Cuba. It. Just give it a quick dice, chop. It's the same stuff. Rough stuff. Don't get so hot up on the names of things. Got my hot pepper in there already. I bought a little bit from Julie over oh. here. Now she grew those in her garden. Oh, these no, jalapenos. Not the, the, the jalapenos. Yeah. And uh, the jalapenos. We did use these salad peppers because right now the peppers at the uh, local grocery store are running a little bit high. Yes, a little. So high. I have found. What accent am I? I forgot. Okay, I have found... <laughs> Jewish! Where I am found, I from anyways? <laughs> I, no, I have found that if you buy the salad peppers in the bag, they taste just as good, they're basically the same product, and they're a little bit less expensive. And also, if you don't need a whole one, like sometimes you just want a little bit, mm -hmm. I like right. a red bell, and then you're wasting the rest so of you're it. So really you're going to julienne bed. them, Julia. Oh, how, oh well. How there you go. You it after me. And toss it in. <laughs> now, I use... Again, always a, a little salt. salt. A pick of pepper. A little pepper. Actually, I like a little more pepper. Pepper's this is good. nice. This nice freshly ground pepper. It is in a little container here, but it has been ground. It's a nice uh, rough, coarse cut. Then you're going to add just a little a splash mm -hmm. of olive oil. Of extra virgin, if you have it, um, it's not necessary. Whatever, but, but whatever it you adds like. a nice flavor. Yeah. But what it does is, again, it melds the flavors together, mm -hmm. and you just give it a little toss, It'll and this is going to be perfect. <gasps> oh, on the amber jack. On, 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 on your tongue. On the so you're not going to use a salsa, right. like a traditional yeah, uh -huh. salsa. Right. Not um, just your regular lettuce and tomato like a lot of right. people think. Right. Right. Oh. So when you're yeah. making fish tacos, you want to sure. kind of change it up a little bit. And if you go down, down, downer, mm -hmm. downer. If you go down, down into southern Mexico, sure. and actually when you get fish tacos like in San Diego or whatever. You always get it with the, the cilantro slaw as opposed mm. to well, the... Well, you know, the, and, the, and the cabbage is so is a lot easier to find a lot of times, too. It just makes some nice things right. rather than just using iceberg lettuce, which, you know... Right. Yeah. So well, that's it. Easy peasy. We got the bean salsa. Yum. I can't yeah. wait to try that. And we've got this. And when we come back... There's going to be some fish on. We're going to cook some fish. So see you in a minute. We'll be Stay back. tuned.